Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Evan Flynn. He is an engineer for the high-resolution 3D flash LiDAR Continental ADAS. This specific demo, uh, this high-resolution re- high 3D flash LiDAR demo, uh, what we're trying to do here is, is show uh, sensor data fusion between our LiDAR, which is these two, two screens at the top, and our 2D color camera, fusing the data together to create a 3D color point cloud all in real time because you want it to look as real as possible. Uh, For a scanning LiDAR, if if you're moving, uh, it's very difficult to get this without any distortion. It takes some post-processing to do it. Um, To do this in real time with our LiDAR, there's very little post-processing. You can do this almost in real time. And now, and you explained to me the difference between a rolling shutter and and the one that you're using. So explain again, what it is that? Uh, It's the difference between a rolling shutter and a global shutter. Um, Just like a 2D color camera um, is that In a rolling shutter, uh, you can imagine a rolling shutter closing and uh, capturing the image uh, slowly over time, right? Where the old cameras used to actually have a physical rolling shutter closing and covering up the the sensor itself. So if I were in an airplane, which is what we talked about, and I wanted to take a picture out the window of the rolling, with the rolling shutter of the propeller going. Right, it would would appear bent, it would appear bent. Yes, but if I did it with your global shutter, then it would just look like it would, it would take an image in a snap, in a yes. nanosecond scale, uh, yes. and capture it without any distortion.